I have purple hair. Hi bitches, my name is FaceTime today. I have been working on this project for literally two months now. But you guys wanted me to paint my jean jacket that I showed in my clothing haul. <laughs> if you want to watch, it's right up here. I saw this on Etsy and it's beautiful. Very bright, very summer, very belongs to me. I own sunflowers, fun fact. Did you know I found the first sunflower seed in the world? Last time I did something like this was with shoes and you guys really want a sunflower outfit. So that means shirt, jacket, belt, pants, socks, shoes, the whole shebang. However, I have to stick to my family values and the number one rule is never buy something that you can make. Also, you always heckle for a discount, even at a Costco, for some reason. This is $220. Free shipping, though. Don't worry, guys. If you have that type of money, go ahead and buy it. I'm not judging you. My parents are. But I would rather stick to trying to make it myself. So, I have it right there. It's done. But I'm going to show you how long this actually took to make. Because I started this two months ago, waited about a month and a half, and then took like three to four days to finish the rest. And also, I expect you to clap right where you are sitting right now because Frederick just got a sponsorship. <laughs> Your boy can finally start paying for college, guys. Hold on, let me just do this one more time. <laughs> That's right. Frederick got a sponsorship. This guy, the person with the controversial username, he just got a sponsorship from Skillshare. I should probably put that down because they're gonna take away my sponsorship now. Skillshare decided to sponsor me today. Now before you call me YouTube solo, I used to use Skillshare because a famous photographer posted on his Instagram that they teach you photography classes and Photoshop and I wanted to be like him. Didn't turn out like him, but it still taught me the basics of how to edit, how to take photos, and there are thousands of classes out there, so you can learn how to animate, you can learn how to paint. Those of you who want tutorials of how to paint, how to play piano, I don't know why you come to me, go to a professional. There are literally over 25,000 classes. You will be fine, trust me. If you like being creative and you want to know how to paint a little bit, or draw, or sketch, or do whatever, I want you to know something. Now come here. Come here and listen up really closely. Skillshare is giving away a free two-month subscription. Let me just emphasize that for you. Free two-month trial with unlimited access to as many videos as you want. To the first... 500 people who click the link in the description and after that it's around ten dollars a month I said the word free. I said the word first 500 people You know what to do and it's a free two-month trial So if you don't like it, you can end it. No harm. No foul. Frederick can go to college. Everyone wins Anyways, let's start the video So I didn't really do a time-lapse until like the second day of doing this project Which was two months after the first day But this was filmed two months ago and I'm with my friend and I'm trying my hardest to sketch out this freaking sunflower with this yellow mechanic mechanical pencil. I don't know if you knew this, but lead does not show up on fabric at all. You're gonna see how many times I've messed up. Yo, this is not showing up too well. Hold on. I need mean, This one works on rocks. That'll work here. I don't think that'll one. just... I mean... You know what, as long as I can see this outline, it's fine. But what Frederick didn't realize at first is that this lead is very sheer on fabric, so he should have used a special type of pencil. I don't know, if you're an artist, let me know which kind. Oh my god, I lost my lines. I don't know where my lines went. They just disappeared. Scratch this idea. We're gonna freehand now. All right, we're taking good old hooker's green. I'm almost out of it. Fine. What is it called? Hooker's green. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Next, we're taking lemon yellow. That'll give it like a nice light green, you know? I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I've done this before. Yeah, that's good. Good job. Do you know how many sunflowers I've painted in my lifetime? 80. <laughs> <laughs> People didn't know what I was using last time. This is called textile medium. This basically turns um, acrylic paint into fabric paint. So I think you're supposed to do like a one third this, two thirds paint. But I just eyeball at this point because I really don't. I Asians don't measure. We use our brains to measure. Ooh, it's pretty good coverage, actually. What is that? Is that the leaf? Yeah, it's a leaf. No, it's a flower. <laughs> I don't. You know what? This is actually really good coverage. I'm kind of impressed. Like, look. Oh my god. I know, it's pretty good. You can't good. even... Wow. Yeah. That's... Ooh, we might have a video, guys. This also might take eight days, but... 
You fucking jinxed yourself there, Frederick. Yeah, these might be different colored leaves. Okay, looking back at this video, I literally jinxed myself because I did end up using a different color green because I forgot that two months ago, I mixed yellow and green together. Now, I'd say I was working on these leaves for over an hour easily. As you can see, I'm still freehanding over here and eventually you see me take out this black pot with brown paint inside of it and that is actually from the sunflower shoes video guys it stayed alive that whole time i'm so shocked by the way if you're following along to my tutorial of all things just know that don't forget to put your textile medium in all acrylic paints or else your acrylic paint is going to chip off anyways i started doing the sunflower petals and i'm freehanding them once again and this is taking forever then i got really bored so by the time i stopped painting it was two months later it took me two months to paint half of a flower anyways it's time to get started i got two mason jars filled with water and I put it onto my sunflower bowl which I'm pretty sure is still meant for food and here you're gonna see me debating which color yellow to use when I still had yellow in the backup but there's clearly one that actually works this is me realizing I put the extra paint inside some contact lens holders and I swear to god this is so hard to open because I waited two months of all things so the paint already dried so I had to use my bare teeth right there see that I'm using my bare teeth to open it up there we go now the yellow paint is out so I put that aside because I thought that this would be enough yellow paint to last me the whole entire time spoiler alert it was not enough paint okay i did not know how much paint i needed for this project but let me tell you fabric soaks it up like a fucking sponge i don't know why there isn't much going on right now so i'm just going to explain to you how i actually draw petals for anyone who wants to follow the tutorial basically if you look at the petals they always go in an opposite direction so i just flip back and forth for each petal so it looks like they're facing each other and then they're facing away and for each flower i try to give it dimension if you will by making one one row of big petals and then one row of smaller petals so it looks like they're alternating and you can't really figure out the pattern of it. I don't know, it looks good in the end, okay? That's all I'll say. Sorry about the lighting, I was filming during the day and the sun thought it'd be cute to hide behind some clouds. But I wanted to zoom in more so you guys can actually see how I'm painting this. It was actually really hard to get sharp edges because my brush kept skipping over small strands of fabric. And it's also really hard to hold a jacket in place. I mean, you would think that an inanimate object would be easy to hold, but in hindsight, I should have clipped it in place or just put some heavy objects over it. Also, this is just one layer of yellow paint. And like I told you before in my bullet journal video, yellow paint is so hard to get opaque because the blue denim does not want it and it just creates green and it looks disgusting. So so basically I have 20 layers eventually. So I'm almost done painting this first sunflower. Thank God it's been like two hours now and I wanted to let it dry but then I also realized that there's a lot of opaque parts that I need to really cover because the blue denim is way too strong and also the leaves are really opaque because I thought it'd be smart to paint light colors over dark. Never do that by the way. Finally I start sketching the second sunflower. Oh my god. I didn't want to freehand it because I knew that I would probably mess up and then I stopped because I realized I did not even paint the second row of sunflower petals like i told you about so this is me doing it again and then still trying to make this opaque it's it's not even that bad okay i'm just so perfectionist but then my dad was trying to cook something while i was sketching and he accidentally burned it so this happened I was really scared for my painting because I thought that it would start raining from above because you know like in the movies they always have those fire sprinklers on the ceiling yeah that's not a real thing at least not in this household anyways finally I can go back to sketching and trying to sketch across those freaking strips of fabric is it's terrible it's so thick and it's just i ruined it okay i ruined it by the way your eyes do not deceive you that was me watching tati's apology video or not even apology it was a roast video let's be honest but now i learned my lesson about painting light to dark first so i'm gonna do the petals first once again it's not that opaque don't panic frederick it's gonna be okay by the way this whole video is time lapse now so this took around eight hours total once again but my back didn't break because i was using the drafting table also look at how i'm holding that paint right now like it it's gay i'll admit it i don't even know why i'm doing this it's so stupid because that paint could easily fall out of my hand because i'm clumsy if you get anxious really easily just be careful because i do this multiple times throughout the video i will admit though i'm gonna flex right now i have been getting better at painting because maybe practice doesn't make perfect but maybe some improvement for me except those little pieces of fabric across the jean jacket are still very annoying to paint across. It's stupid. Wow, this video has been going on for nine minutes. I'm just realizing this right now. Anyways, back to the actual video. I'm almost out of paint, as you can see, and I really don't want to admit that because you know I have a pet peeve of always, um adding more paint when I don't need to and then I end up having extra so I'm just adding a little bit more paint and that is if you can't tell 
That is not the right color. I don't know what I did wrong, but clearly I used the wrong two. And when I finished that sunflower, I went back to the original OG Mr. First because I still wanted to make it opaque. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's not that big of a deal. Like, no one's gonna care. Only me. And now I had to paint over this whole thing because it was not the same color and I want it to be the same color because perfectionist. My too much gene is showing right now and clearly it it's... It ain't a cute look, alright? Not to mention the fact that the fabric did not want to work with me at all because it kept bunching up and like, is it too much to ask for fabric to lay flat just for a video? Is it? Once this sunflower was done, I went to the other sunflower again because it's just this cycle of trying to make this thing opaque until you eventually give up. And once again, I think this is around 20 layers total. I don't really understand my mindset, but after working at this for, I think, a solid hour, so let's just say we're at four hours total of working on this project, I gave up, I went to sleep, and now we're gonna go to the next day. Mm, new day, new set of paint because I used all of it from yesterday somehow as this denim jacket is still considered a sponge to me. By the way, I'm really sorry about the lighting. The sun is so stupid. It's like, first I want to hide behind a cloud. I'm shy. I'm an introvert. And now it wants to be an extrovert. Like, that's blinding me. But if you can make out what I'm doing, I'm actually painting the inner portion of the sunflower now. And this used up all my brown paint. I don't know how. And I finally learned my lesson to paint dark colors first and then light colors. Also, I'm going back to this first sunflower just to get the edges that I missed. And now I'm sketching out the stem of the other sunflower. And this took me like 20 minutes to decide where to put it. And I eventually came and just said let's just make it look like it's coming out of my ass and trying to paint around petals without screwing yourself over is one of the most stressful things a painter can do in my opinion but i think for my standards i did pretty well i mean you you can't really see something different can you but this kept soaking in all the paint and you're gonna see that it had run out and then make a new set of green now if you remember kids back in the first minute of the video i actually used green and yellow to make this color originally and i forgot that so that's a different color green again that is two times i've already messed up matching the color so you know what that means frederick has to paint over all of the leaves again even though i could have just easily shaded some parts of it so it's like ooh, frederick using highlights and shadows in his paintings now so it's not that cartoony but no frederick had to make it look all one color still don't really know why i'm talking to myself in third person anyways i had to do every single stem over again every leaf and the color color is better, I'll admit, but the problem is, the original green dried so much that the other green didn't really cover it that well, so that was like two to three layers of green paint. Once again, God decided to give me a message and be like, hey, what you doing there, bud? Listen, I know that being gay is a sin, but like, cut me some slack, okay? I just want to paint something. Can you go hide behind the clouds again? I keep going on tangents. L let me focus on the video. So this is a black pot of paint that I don't know where it came from, and I just added fabric paint to it because I forgot if I used it earlier, and now we are going to do the other most stressful thing an artist can do, which is trace with a paintbrush. If you've watched Frederick's art camp already, you know that I mess this up almost every time. And I do mess up a little bit, but I'll admit, like, this is pretty good work. I mean, some lines are a little bit thicker than others, but that's just, you know, creative, uh, creative perspective. <clears throat> hey, guys, uh, it's me, God. Uh, you're in hell right now. I mean, why is it so dark? I don't understand. Now, if I don't see this on every artist Instagram sponsor page, whatever the fuck you call them, I will be personally offended as a cancer because this is so satisfying. Look at that. Like, those crisp edges. Mm. If you're doing this yourself, just be careful going over those stupid fabric lines again. I don't know what to call them. I think it's where the seams are, maybe? This is kind of doing the same thing. I don't really mess up, so I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the satisfaction. JK, you guys thought I wouldn't speak in a video? Oh, you're funny. But this just goes to show that I'm actually doing pretty well. I mean, that little petal was a little bit thick. I'll admit it. It's okay. Also, notice how I'm going in a circle around this painting. It's just because I need one angle for painting. I don't know why, but if I want to trace, it has to go once certain stroke and oh my oh my god Ugh. guys i'm so sorry but i just realized that i was so stupid and tired that i just let that black paint pot almost fall every single time i was holding it with two fingers i don't know why my gay ass is trying to hold a paint pot fancy in a video of all things but just so you know i don't actually spill black all over this video okay it's not a fail video because if it was i would have put it in the thumbnail oh and i'm in hell again thank you so much god one day i'll have consistent lighting but i'm just working on the first sunflower now and texting my friend while i'm at it and you know when you like try to paint something that's identical there's always one that's clearly less good than the other yeah this sunflower 
far I ended up being that because I think I was so lazy and tired I wanted to finish this as fast as possible which ended up with me not paying attention to my strokes as much and not really caring where I put my strokes so it just it it messed up some petals is all I'll say. Also, look at where that black pot is, right next to the jacket, which is also right next to the edge of the table, which is on a white carpet, and if I was a cat, I would really want to throw that over the edge right now. For once, I had some good luck and didn't end up spilling black over the jacket, but it, it still made me anxious looking at it. I'm really getting tired of talking right now because this has been going on for 15 minutes and I honestly did not realize that I had so much footage to edit. But just look at those last few petals, like they're so crunchy and chunky looking, it, it's not that good. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't even talk about this. So the way I like to decorate my sunflowers and give it character is by adding strokes of black and white to it so it looks like it has more dimension and i add the white at the end i don't know why then i had to start outlining this entire stem and i'm i don't know how to really do this part yet i'm still trying to hone it in because i don't really do stems so it's not that detailed but i just had some simple black strokes and that's about it i don't know why but you guys really like the way i do sunflowers so you guys started sending me dms on instagram of you painting this too so if you want to do this go ahead and send pictures of you completing it because i would love to see them ah uh, shit i just really realized while editing this that I have not said why do you watch me yet so this is me putting it in why do you watch me I know you guys expect it in every video but the thing is I don't want you to see it coming and I I couldn't find one this time so <laughs> this is the my cop out I really don't know why people like that joke so much it wasn't that funny to me in the first place but you guys really liked it so I kept doing it and now it's also one of the longest running jokes on this channel including the way I say my name in every intro now that I'm done with the black it's time to finally add white highlights and you're gonna see as I'm putting in text on medium i spill some right on that petal and i had to wipe it off really quickly because it freaked me out but i really think the white um <clears throat> sorry accentuates the detail in the sunflowers because it just adds that extra step of oh i tried and then i let that dry so i can work on the front which uh my idea for the front was originally to paint more sunflowers but then i decided let's tone it down a little bit and just add some color blockage to like the pockets only so i did it to the front pockets and then i did it to the side pockets but the thing is i was running out of paint and i really really didn't want to add more but uh spoiler alert i did have to add a little bit more paint but i really thought it looked good to add just a hint of color on the front so it's like teasing you that this is a special jacket and then you see the back and it's like well bam i'm a flaming raging aggressive homosexual who is addicted to sunflowers i think he invented the color yellow and here's the final product i really wanted to do my usual style of sunflowers which is the cartoony version maybe i'll try something else but i am so proud of myself i've never painted clothes on this scale before so that gives me some confidence. I will wash this eventually if I sweat in it. Obviously it will wear down a little, but it is fabric paint because textile medium is amazing. No, it is not gonna be for sale. Maybe when I finish the whole outfits and I don't wear them anymore, then you can have them. This baby's mine though for a while. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about what painting video would like me to do next. Subscribe for more videos every Saturday slash Sunday or Wednesday slash Thursdays are not procrastinating but I don't know why I keep saying that because I've not uploaded on a Wednesday in so long. All right, I love you guys and everything is less than three. All right, go back, go back, go back. Now I have to wash out this stuff and you can watch this video while you're at it. Look at all this paint.